What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I'd bring you a video explaining exactly how to level up your glyphs and how it's all gonna work in season six with the new expansion of Vessel of Hatred and just kind of some new things that are being brought to this and how it reminisces of Diablo three. So let's get right into this and kind of break this down. Now, I know there's a lot of people that already put out videos talking about the overview and everything about this, um, including the videos that we've done on this channel, but I thought I'd be a little bit more in depth and allow a little bit more explanation to the glyphs and how they're changing and going away from nightmare dungeons to the pit exclusively so let's get right into it first thing first we are no longer going to be leveling up the glyphs in the nightmare dungeons that is gone okay so now it's going to go straight to the pit which i think is much better um and i'm glad that they did get away with the gauntlet the gauntlet is gone or i should say disabled for now i hope that they never bring it back uh but the nightmare dungeons the big question that i have now and probably will state at the end of the video is what's the purpose of the nightmare dungeons now i'm not really sure besides just like doing them otherwise right now you would never actually go into them because the glyphs are going to be all from the pit and all your other leveling strategies are never going to access the nightmare dungeon you're going to be doing stuff like the uh, hell tide you're going to be doing the brand new undercity a lot so uh, especially to get all the runes so i don't really see the the reason or the need for nightmare dungeons so we'll have to find out what they do with that but just know that everything is going to be accessed through the pit so upgrading a glyph is no longer through experience instead you're going to be giving attempts increasing your glyphs rank by completing tiers all right you get three attempts and then you get an, an additional one if you don't die so how this looks is if we bring this nice little image up when you finish the pit you're still going to go to the same icon and you're going to have three upgrades available and you'll have a fourth upgrade if you didn't die okay you can see that the pit level is 45 and the success chance is 55 percent now this is very similar to how diablo 3 does the legendary gems right so your glyph ranks now go up to level 100 okay you can see this over here in the um in the what is it in the uh, dev stream that they had so the ranks will now go instead of maxing at 21 they max to 100 all right and then they're going to expand every single time you go up so you can see here also in the video you can see that it's 46 out of 100 which is very interesting and you'll see the radius size go from four to five once you upgrade it to 46. um now just one thing in mind with this is that Upgrading, you get a guaranteed chance if you're doing a pit that's 10 tiers higher than what your glyph is. So as an example, if you're doing a glyph that is level 10 and you're doing a level 20 pit, it is a guaranteed upgrade rank. And then anything that's less than 10 will have a chance, which is what you see like the success rate chance. So that way, when you go to use one of your three available upgrades, you'll have a 55% chance to upgrade it to the next tier. And then this, this success chance will change based on how far out you are from 10 ranks or less, right? Anything more than 10 ranks is a guarantee. This is the same exact way that it worked in Diablo three. Now, every 20 level difference, now this is one difference, is every 20 levels, you'll get an additional bonus upgrade per attempt, which is actually pretty cool. So they give a nice little example here of how how much faster it's gonna be to level up your glyphs. However, I, I don't know, I really gonna have to test and run the numbers on this because completing three deathless pit tier 30 runs would take a glyph from level one to 19. All right, so that's one to 19 and three. Now, I guess on the surface, um, with the former rank being 21, this is much faster because in the current live, you have to do six level 100s to take a glyph from level one to 21. And that is without a in uh, the what is it the um, ancestral blessing to upgrade it even more. The ancestral where you get the 20% extra um, the 20% extra uh, boost. So having it at 21 is six complete runs. And they're saying that this is going to be a little bit faster. So 21 you see here. 
So the they kind of break it down how it would work. The attempt glyph one, it goes to three, then five, seven, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then the third one takes you all the way up. The maximum level of the glyph has been increased. So in the, uh, the glyphs radius has been increased from four to five. So, we're, I mean, ideally, I guess on the surface, this is much faster than once you have a character that's super stronger, you're going to be able to level these up much faster. Now, in the dev stream, you can see this is a level 21 glyph radius. All right. When you upgrade your glyph from 45 to 46, this is going to be the brand new radius, as you see here at 46. So one, it's going to go to 21 and then 46. Now, however, the 21, they do mention in here that the 21 is actually at level 15. So you can see the success upgrade there and you see the, the success change. Um, but keep in mind that when it's 21, this is actually meant to be level 15. So they, they messed up on that. They said it in here. So level 15, you'll have your normal increase in size, and then you won't go to your next boost until 46. And then you see all the additional boxes you have here. Now, we are limited to five Paragon boards um, in total, including the starting board, which is why the increase in the glyph size here is going to give us so many more nodes that we can actually take because we are going to have like 330-ish, 339 uh paragon points roughly i could be calculating that all wrong let me know down in the comments but that sounds pretty close so we're going to be able to fill up a lot of these boards however this is a major concern because you see the additional boxes here you see all these boxes that we're losing nodes and being able to upgrade so I, it's kind of discerning for that and then even on the new boards when you come over here these are the five brand new boards that we're going to be able to unlock and you notice the class insignia here so even though the board layout is exactly the same the nodes in here are different per the class that you're playing now keep in mind that this glyph radius here as if it's a level 15 glyph so when you go to 46 you're going to extend it by another bar so you're going to have this box this box so it's basically going to go these boxes here this box here this box here so on these new boards it's actually kind of nice because you're going to grab this box and then you're going to grab uh i think one of this box here so you're going to gain a few more boxes and you're only going to lose a few but it but when it comes to like our older boards that we currently have because from my understanding those aren't necessarily changing so these little corner boxes is very concerning uh, for me as far as the nodes that we can take so maybe all these will change but we'll have to see once we get in there however when you get to 46 you will get the nice little big boost here so in in essence you'll be able to take all these nodes and get a huge power boost now there's one additional thing that i think is great which is very similar to um diablo 3 and that is once the glyph hits 25 and or the legendary gem hits 25 in diablo 3 you get the additional power now, we everybody knows that we do have our normal power here, which is the 42% increased critical strike damage. And then we get the additional bonus as soon as we get to get it to level 15 and we hit this 25 dexterity uh, point threshold. So then we get the increased damage that enemy takes from us up to 15%, which is great. However, there's an additional, a third layer boost in damage or boost in an ability, depending on the glyph that you're using. In this example, Spirit, you get a legendary bonus, increasing your critical strike damage by 21.6%. Now, you unlock this legendary bonus. I know the glyph is level 50, but you unlock it as soon as it hits level 46. You can see that here. So, um, if I could just move it just a tad, just a tad. Come on, play just a tad. I know. I wish I could skip this just a few seconds, guys. I do apologize. So you'll see here, he'll go to upgrade, right? And you'll see that it's level 45. It's going to go to 46. It's radius size is going to go from four to five. And then you have your four upgrades here and you're going to use one because the character didn't die. And you notice down here that the increase in critical strike damage is actually grayed. Okay. The next radius increases at 46. So you're going to get this as soon as you go to 46. Um, I know it says 45, but it hasn't actually kicked in yet. I think that was just a typo. 
But as soon as you upgrade it, you're going to notice that the legendary increased damage is actually here now, right? And now we have the level 46 spirit glyph and you get the bonus critical strike damage, which is just fantastic. Uh, so I think this this big change is just super great. I love the legendary gems from Diablo 4. I thought it was fantastic. Um, I think this is this is just going to really change the game here. Again, our base Paragon points are going to be 300. And we're going to probably going to be like 329 roughly. And you're going to have to complete the pit to upgrade these, these glyphs. But I really wanted to break down and give a much better understanding of how this works and how strong these glyphs are gonna be for your character. And really, because in Diablo 3, the legendary gems, once you got them to level 25, unlock the additional power, and then leveling them up to 50, 75, 100, you know, even greater than 100, you really got a huge boost in power. So these are really gonna give us a big change to our character. So that's how glyphs work. It's going to be a huge change. I really do enjoy that. I think it's going to be great to see the level progression here of leveling your glyphs. Because again, in the difficulty tiers, you can't start doing glyphs until you start doing, you know, your your uh, your pit. So like the pit levels are equivalent to the the difficulty that you're going to be in. So the pit, reaching the pit, you have to be level 60 to unlock it, which is similar to Diablo 3. And you get the pits 1 to 20. And then beating 20 unlocks Torment. And then vice versa, 35 to Torment 2, 50 to 3, 65 to 4. So you can't even start leveling your glyphs until you hit Torment 1, which I think is awesome. It's very similar to Diablo 3, which I absolutely love, guys. So again, this is how the glyphs work. I will probably make an updated video after once we get into the PTR. But guys, like the video. This was fantastic. Appreciate you guys for watching. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.